matches. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, standing seven feet tall, weighing in Strutting at 385 to the pounds. Strutting to the ring because the Big Show knows he has the ability to manhandle every single superstar in this match. Look at the size of him. Big Show more agile than we've seen him in years and more dominant than he's been in years. A confident look on the face of the Big Show. The Big Show is a sight to behold, a once-in-a-lifetime athlete. and Cesaro, one of the most dominant tag teams in recent WWE history. Once upon a time, bitter rivals. Now, a successful team. Absolutely. Uh, you look at this situation as a case of where competition and rivalry builds respect, builds friendship, which in turn has built success for Sheamus and Cesaro. <laughs> Michael Corey, time to hop aboard the positivity bus because the new day is here. I hope your positivity bus drives right into a bridge embankment. Take and that their back. Opponent, at a combined weight of 702 pounds, Big E, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods. The new day. Look at this derelict Big E trying to swim in the center of the ring. Byron, I thought you didn't eat carbs. Well, I make an exception for the New Day. Get it? Ah, New Day rocks. Come on, Corey. New Day rocks. You're not clapping. Nor will I ever. Big E's hips don't lie, man. <laughs> so damaging. These oh, two man. superstars are set to lock up for their respective teams as this six-man tag gets underway. Six superstars, two teams, and let's face facts. We can see anything happen here. We've seen some amazing six-man tag team matches in the past, and I'm sure this one will rank right up there with some of the best. Tag is made. What's going to happen here? Teamwork at its best. I think this man means business.
thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. This is simply amazing leaping ability. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose team with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions, don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, The Shield, and The New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the shoulders on the mat. And a kick out, much to nobody's surprise. Not even close. Ooh, what an up. That might be worrying about long-term injuries for sure. to surprise an opponent. Kofi Kingston with the offense. Look at Kofi Kingston getting ready here, people. And he connects with the leg. The damage has been done. Hey, sometimes you gotta take to the air. Throughout Cesaro's WWE career, the swift There it is, the tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. <laughs> nice move. Looks like he wants back in this match. That certainly looks to be the case, Michael. Byron, you mentioned it a few moments ago, and I have to say that Cesaro's incredible strength and athleticism endeared him to the WWE Universe. It's how the Swiss Superman's fans became known as the Cesaro section. Cesaro can do things in that ring that other human beings can only dream of. Heck, Cesaro can do things in that ring that human beings shouldn't be able to do. Period. Close quarters, knee strike. Gotta be hard. He's got him covered. And kicking out is Xavier Woods. Still too fresh. Sheamus is one of the most dominant forces in WWE. The man actually enjoys proving he is as vicious as they come and will attack anyone who steps in his way. And he's all set up now, and here it comes. Love this move. The honor roll. But he's got to capitalize now. Going back to Sheamus' dominance, he's won numerous championships. He's a Royal Rumble match winner and a Mr. Mutt. What does Xavier Woods have in store? Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Oh, Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. 
Matt. What an insane move by Big E. Oh, oh, it's over. Looking for all the glory here. Sheamus gets the shoulder up. Not yet. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. The three superstars of the line because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit. Three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man. Big E, this is going to be big! Watch oh. out, E train. Oh, incredible elevation from the big man. Here's his shoulders on the back. And he stops the count. Lucky him. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Great example of teamwork right there. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring. But if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. Uh-oh. Is he done? Wow. Big Show getting put in check here. The bad seed for the big man. And you know all three of the superstars wow. he's up against won't back down at any point during this match. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable nature of this match is too much for him to overcome. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment here, right? I mean, it'd be crazy for him to think he was going to walk away from this match completely unscathed. What an uppercut. There it is. He's inflicting some serious pain here. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray... That's a high-risk, high-reward move right there, guys. Big E, this is going to be big! Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatt. Sheamus looking for something big. His shoulders are down. The neutralizer certainly puts Cesaro's opponents in their place. Face down on the canvas. When Cesaro gets an opponent in that position, there is no escape. The shoulder block. This one is over. Oh, I think this man needs business. Cesaro's neutralizer was created by the legendary competitor Carl Gotch, who was one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions in the 1970s. Cesaro's interpretation of the maneuver is just awesome. The neutralizer is just another way for Cesaro to exhibit his superhuman strength. When the Swiss Superman lifts you up for that move, you're staying down for good. The officials should be all over this. It is Big E, so 
with some agility. All right, that was impressive. Oh, gut punch. Nasty. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. And it's Big Show getting out of that one. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. This is every bit as painful as it appears. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. When this guy's on, look out. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is. And what does Xavier Woods have? He's inflicting some serious pain here. Nobody does it quite like him. Cesaro and a pin attempt. Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. No telling where or when this will end. Sheamus might want to rethink this showboating. Uh, Cesaro comes up big there. Wow. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agenda. Just incredible. Incredible. Cesaro is in position. Suplex by Cesaro. <laughs> These competitors are walking on dangerous ground right now. Cover. Real close. Too close for comfort. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. There's the switch. Big Show is in. Man, Sheamus showing some of that Irish charm. Big E trying to get inside his opponent's head. What else is new? Big E with the tag. Big Show is not getting it done. He's barely hanging in there. This could be lights out for the world's largest athlete. You have to wonder how much longer he can go on like this. He's in tough shape, guys, and there's absolutely no room for error now. He's making a statement here with this attack. Big Show! That's the showstopper! Just a devastating move by Big Show. Things just went from bad to worse for Big E. The weapon of mass destruction! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. There's the pin! One! Two, three! What a six-man tag match.
A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. This entire match was just one big highlight reel, and I didn't expect anything else. Here are your winners, The Big Show, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, and Cesaro. Now that's eking out a win. Sometimes you step in the ring and just refuse to lose. I think that's what we saw here tonight. And folks, if you just joined us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory.